I know you're a man like me, like me, you're a yes. man of faith. Yes. And, you know, you spoke earlier in the interview about you being atheist at some points in your life, agnostic. Yeah. yeah. Talk to me, because now, you know, you, 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 you have one heck of a freaking story. <laughs> like, yeah. talk to me about your faith yeah. and just looking back. Yeah. How God continuously has showed up in your life, even yeah. when you didn't know he was putting a calling on your heart. Yeah. Yeah, my faith is everything. I mean, I know for a fact that I would not be who I am, where I am. I would not be alive if it wasn't for the hand of God on my life. And, you know, I've accomplished a lot of things in life. But, you know, I attribute all my my I think I tell people all the time, you know, God is not Santa Claus. Jesus is not Santa Claus. You know, you know, it's about a relationship with God. And in that relationship is a partnership. And when I, when I talk about this, I always like to refer to, there's a scripture, there's a story in the Bible when the Israelites came out of, out of, out of bondage and slavery in Egypt, um, they crossed the Red Sea. And one of the first things that happened, they were attacked by the Malachites. And God told Moses, he said, Moses, I want you to go to the top of the mountain. And as long as you hold that staff in the air, the rod in the air, the Israelites in the valley are going to win the battle. But as you drop that staff, if you drop it to the ground, the Israelites are going to lose the battle. And just as God said, as Moses held that staff up, the Israelites were winning. But when his arms got tied and he dropped that staff, the Israelites lost. Finally, his brother and sister got hit to the game and they climbed up the mountain and they helped hold his arms up so the Israelites could ultimately win the battle. And what that story is, there's so many points in that story, but what that is to me is that's a story showing that God is a God of partnership. God will always equip you, give you what you need, but you got to stand up. You got to climb up that mountain. You got to hold that staff up and you got to do your part. There's so many people that, you know, you know, to them, faith is, uh, you know, I'm just going to, it's like Santa Claus. I'm just going to pray, God, give me this. God, give me a blessing. They shake, they jerk, they, but they don't go and do no work. You know, you get people talking about, oh, God, help me lose weight. Why you ain't let me lose this weight? You're not really good, but you ain't getting out and eating right and going to the gym. You know, it's about a partnership. He will equip you. He will give you the wisdom. But you got to climb up that mountain and do the work. And that's what my faith walk has been. It's been God has always been there for me. I've just always had to take this. Now, in the beginning, <laughs> you know, before I came to the Lord, he was there for me. And he would push me into the step. <laughs> you know, he will put by by you know putting a Tiana Ray as my recruiter in front of me. You know, by by you know putting me in a position where I had no choice but to humble myself if I wanted to get back into the program. But as I've grown in my faith, you know, because part of my testimony we didn't get to say I hit rock bottom. You know what? You know, right before I was going to graduate from SEAL training, that pride and that success began to really get to me, and you know, I got too way too big for my bridges. And I, and, I, and I had to get brought down to reality. And I share the whole story in my book, so I won't give it away here. But I got crushed. I got crushed to the point where I had no choice but to believe in God. And then when I began to open up my eyes, that's when I began to realize that he had always been with me. And he had been the father to me that I had lost, you know, even more so than I had lost when I was a young boy. You know, and so, you know, faith is everything. You know, it's who I am. And, and, and it drives me. And listen, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I need God every day in my life, man, because this world is, life is hard, man. Like, it really, really is. And I need hope. And when everyone, when, when it seems like all hope is lost, I could always hope in Jesus. I could always hope that, you know what, like you said earlier, and that spoke to me because I'm going through a situation right now where I've been going through, again, I've been going through the last two, three weeks I've been going, especially this week, I've been going through a season of rejection, a hard season of rejection. And I've just been like, man, God, like, why? Like, like I've done all of this work. I've done things with excellence. Like, why is all of this stuff happening to me? And what you said earlier really resonated with me. You may not realize this, but you said God has a plan. <laughs> you said God has a plan and that and you know it's not that I've forgotten that but you really reinforced that in me during this conversation and so often we do things and, 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 and like I'm going to do this interview and it's like you know but I'm getting more out of this 
then you think I, that, 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 that probably you. <laughs> then you think that, that you would know I'm getting a lot out of this conversation, especially recapping my story and seeing where I have come from to where I'm at to now. You know what, this week, because I'm telling you, this week has been really hard for me. I was just telling my assistant who helped coordinate all of this, you know, we try to pray together before we start our day. And I said, man, dude, like, man, I was hurting this morning. I was hurting last night. And I say all that to say that, yes, I've accomplished all of these things, but I still need to rely on Christ and I still need to have hope. And when all hope has seemed lost, what gets me through the day is the fact that he has a plan and he knows what's best for me. And if he's closing doors, it's for a reason. And I need to have hope in that reason. You know, um, that's powerful stuff. I don't even know where we can go from there. But, yeah. you know, your life is a living testament. And, you know, the days that you find yourself questioning or losing hope, yeah. just look over your life, brother. I'm, yeah. I'm on the other side of this. And um, yeah. I was so inspired to get in touch with you to have this conversation. And it, it, it's so apparent. Yeah. that God has been working in your life the whole way. And yeah. I don't know what he has in store for you, yeah. but here's one thing that I always rely on. He didn't bring me this far to leave me. Amen. It is as simple as that. Amen. He did not bring you from the streets of the boogie down yeah. to the seals, yeah. to the on movie sets with, with famed actors and directors, yeah. To writing books and touching millions of people around the world, he's with you in this yeah. moment. So just trust him and do not lose faith in that. Amen. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Most Remy, where can people find you? Uh, I'm on every social media platform, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. I got a unique name, so I was blessed to be able to, it, for it to just be Remy Adelaide. I don't have to have the official Remy. Just Remy spell Adelaide. that out, because that is the, I know it's an I, not a Y, and spell <laughs> yeah, out yeah, that yeah. So, yeah, so Remy is R-E-M-I, not a Y, is I, and then Adelaide is A-D-E-L-E-K-E. Um, and again, you know, you can get, you can get me on LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Beautiful, beautiful. We will be pushing that book. We will keep you, you in prayer. Thank, Thank you, you so much for being a part of this discussion and this you. whole power move makers world because you are a true power move maker Thank and keep the faith, brother. Thank Most you. Definitely. Thank you. My brother. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.